it's a new year. We've got bulbs growing. It's grey, it's cold. The garden's looking a little shabby, but it's okay. That's the way things should be. I know right now across Instagram and Twitter, various accounts are telling you to sow your seeds, to plant up your plugs, to get out there and grow, grow, grow. Let me tell you something, there is no rush. Just enjoy the garden for the next few weeks. Drop your lists, create your plans. Think about what you want to grow this season. You've got plenty of time. It's a low winter sun. So if you're gonna be sowing and you don't have a good heat source, a good light source, then your plants will get leggy. So like I keep saying, hold your horses. You've got plenty of time. However, there are jobs you can be doing. In fact, here's a few of mine. Winter's a time of dormancy for many fruit trees and shrubs, so think about pruning fruit. We're talking gooseberries, red currants, black currants, and of course your apple and pear trees. But do avoid any stone fruit, things like cherries, plums, peaches and nectarines, because by giving them an open wound, you are inviting silver leaf disease, and no one wants that. Right, let's get started. For this, I use my secateurs, extended secateurs and loppers. Also, I make sure the blades are both clean and sharp before use. In the main garden, we've got three established trees. We've got the apple, cherry, and then by the kitchen garden, we've got a pear. When we first moved here, I'll be honest, these three main trees were a mess. Um, it took a lot of pruning for the first couple of years. And then last year, we had fruit. We had a lot of fruit, so the pruning works. And with the apple tree, what I was trying to achieve is like a brandy glass look. And the reason for that is it lets a good supply of airflow pass through. And someone once said to me, you know a good sign of a pruned tree is if you can take your cap and throw it through the tree. And if it doesn't touch any of the branches, you've got a winner. I don't know. With our pear tree, you're looking for a slightly different shape. You're looking at more of a, a wine glass. And again, that's all down to good pruning and it allows a good air supply to pass through. So if you can't remember how to prune, think booze. But before you start any maintenance, take the time to look at your established tree, assess its shape and health. Next, look for any branches that are either dead, damaged or diseased. If you come across any, either remove the affected branch altogether or cut back to the next branch down. Pruning for me this year is nice and easy. All I'm looking to do is some simple pruning to keep the tree looking tidy and productive. So what I'm looking for is last year's growth, which is from here to here. And all I want to do is reduce that by a third. When I make the cut, I do it above a bud that's facing outwards. Also, I cut it on an angle. That way moisture doesn't rest on the open wound and cause possible infection. Okay. That's one branch down, just the uh, rest of the tree to do. 